Let's, let's go take care of this motherfucker. Yeah, hello. Hey, what's going on, man? Are you here for day foresight? Yeah, I'm here for day foresight. Apparently, okay, he called for his lawyer. To pat you down to make sure you have no weapons or anything before entering the jail. Oh yeah, understandable. <laughs> I told him, and I was like, "Hey, man!" I was like, "How much would it be to slip, slip, slip me out of here?" And he was like, "I can't do that." Okay, purple. Let's go this way. Steve, All right, up, Steve. <laughs> yeah, it's just the character I came up with, Steve. I'm not sure where he patted me down. There's a fucking metal detector and he walked in. They don't work. <laughs> yeah, but out of RP. Right. You could have RP. That's, that, that's probably why. Did you leave him alone by the, down there? Got it. You should be Jewish. Lost. Yeah, my name's Steve Heinsberg. <laughs> Steve Heinsberg? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Defense and criminal attorney. <laughs> Steve uh, Heinsberg? Steve Heinsberg. Okay. Steve Heinsberg. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. No, I really don't. I tried helping Struts out, but Struts just kept them making it fucking worse when I was trying to help him out. Hey, sir. What's going you on? You can just go ahead and, and you can just head into that IT room and we'll just bring him into you, alright? Uh, th this one on the left or right? Uh, the right, the blue door. Alright. <laughs> Steve Heinsberg. Oh, what's going on, Dave? You call for your lawyer, Steve Heinsberg? Yeah, sir. How's it going, Steve? Uh, well, yeah, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Obviously not that good. Hey, when uh, uh Mr. Attorney guy. All right. whenever, yeah, whenever you guys are done, just knock on the door. Yeah, I'll knock on the door. I'll let you guys know. I've been here once or twice before. Alright. Alright, Dave. What's going on, buddy? Why, why'd you give Steve Heinsberg a call? The uh, defensive apparently. lawyer for your attorney. Uh, apparently, they got me on uh, the theft of murder of uh, uh, an officer. And actually, one of them officers over there that brought me in. Oh, so you try to kill him? Yeah. Apparently, oh. allegedly. Well, I mean, they're kind of, they're, 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 at this point, Dave, there's really no allegedly. It's either you did or you didn't. Yeah, I didn't, but allegedly they said I did. Well, I mean, allegedly it doesn't work at this point. I've dealt with many cases. It's either you did stab the cop or you didn't stab the cop. Now, did or did you not stab the cop? That's one question well, I gotta I did, ask. I, I didn't stab. Oh, so, I mean, if they come in and I try to defend saying that you didn't stab them, they're not going to say that there was proof? Well, they're probably going to say that there was proof on his body cap or whatever, but I think he's delusional. I mean, well, if I was to ask the officer to look at said body cam, is it going to be you in the camera? Uh, I mean, maybe, but I don't know if you're going to see me stabbing him. Well, I mean... I don't know. I mean, you're, you're you're trying to give me a case that's kind of not going anywhere. I dealt with a, a little suspect like this a while ago. His name is Ricky, man. And he did a lot of things that just I couldn't help him out with. You're not really helping me out, man. I mean... I'm, it, I'm doing my best, man. What do you want me to do? Well, I need... Well, as I say, the first thing I need to know, did you or did you not stab the guy? What do you want me to say? The truth. That's the only thing that's going to set you free, to be honest with you. I believe or something? Eh, no, I don't go to church. I mean, when I was a kid, my parents made me go, but I haven't gone since, I don't know, probably 18, and I'm in my 30s, so I haven't gone for a while, but, you know, if you sit here and lie, it just makes it worse on yourself, and the cops are going to want to charge you with more stuff and give you more time. You, you be honest, we could probably work something out and give you less time, man. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I mean... Are are you are are you apologetic about it? Are you gonna work something out? Like, did you mean to do it? I mean, why'd you stab him? He killed my best friend. Oh yeah, that guy Billy I seen on TV. That was your that was your friend. Yeah. 
Oh. With no meaning. He killed him for no meaning. Oh, yeah, I kind of... He pulled a gun oh. on him, and I, I saw the whole thing. And there was, uh, he, Billy was never pulled a gun on him. Well, see, here, here's where I want to be on your side, but it's kind of hard because there's a lot of mixed reports out there. I've been reading that he did kill him. I'm reading that he didn't kill him. I read that he let all the shots out. I read that he only let one shot out. I, I, I really don't know. Oh, he emptied the whole entire clip in the village. I mean, allegedly the papers and the reports state that you were not around to see that. No, oh, I was. I was at the corner of the uh, of the truck, of Billy's truck, and I watched them. Oh, well, I mean, another... I, I ain't got it on camera. I, yeah, I, that was, that was going to be another question I asked, because as soon as we come up with that, the cops are going to say, you got any proof? I mean... Stabbing a cop, okay, you're admitting to that. I, I, I. The only thing I have on camera was the afterwards. I mean, okay, yeah, I mean, but you stabbing a cop, that's what that, that, that gets us a little somewhere. You're admitting to it. You're not lying. So you're, you're pleading guilty. You stabbed the cop, and you're telling me because your friend Billy, but I mean, that, that's not going to work out. Like, you need to, like, are you going to do this again? You got to apologize. Like, we gotta, we gotta, it's it's a two-way street, like, you just can't want revenge because he did something to your friend, you gotta have, you know, you, you gotta compromise, you you did that, I know, and you gotta face the time, but maybe just admitting everything, and then saying that you won't do it again, maybe I could get you a break and cut you a little less time in jail, you know, I, I don't want you to go, but at this point, hearing from what I heard, and from the knowledge of the information I got in front of me, they're, they're in the ball court, they, they hit the home run, you know. They got all bases loaded. Ah, damn it. As I said, another fella that I did some uh, attorney work for, his name is Ricky, and he basically was in the same boat as you. All bases were loaded, and the guy was there re ready for me to swing so we could hit the home run. And they, they got the home run. They're about to get it. But if you admit it, maybe they might not get a home run, and uh, they'll, they'll sentence you to, you know, a little less time. You, you, you just being honest and telling the truth, you know? Maybe. I mean, yes. So, I mean, we're going to sit there and tell them that you plead guilty, that you did stab the cop, but then you got to come up with something, you know, we, we got to figure out, like, wh what, 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 what do you want to, to what, what is your demands? Like, how, how, the ones I've made something wrong. Don't take it. Oh, well, I don't, I don't know, man. Well, I mean, you're admitting to the first part, which that's a good process, but I mean, I mean they're, they didn't want to send you to jail, so I mean, I mean... Oh, yeah, of course they want to send me to jail. But, I mean, you gotta sit here and promise that, like, you're gonna, like, get out of jail, probably go to rehab, and, I like, you know... So, like, you gotta, you gotta promise that, like... You gotta like try to better yourself. That you didn't mean to do this. That it's not gonna happen again. That you gotta try to you know be good in prison, get good time, maybe get out early. You know. Yeah, I guess so. So you want me to call back in? Sure. All right. All right, I dock. All right. All right. You got, you got anything you want to tell us, Dave? All right, well, the, tell what, tell what we went through. You gotta be honest, you know. I'm sorry, King. I apologize for stabbing you. I mean, I understand why you stabbed me. I, I tried to tell you that I didn't want to kill Billy. It's just, he was my best friend, and now I don't, I mean, even though I have Rufus, but that doesn't bring him back. Yeah, I get it. I mean, stabbing me ain't gonna bring him back either, though. No, it's not. It just made everything worse for me. Tell him you want to go to rehab? And you, want, and you plead guilty? I mean, yeah, obviously I'm guilty. I don't know if I can fix this, or obviously I'm probably gonna have to do some time, but... I mean, I don't really want to go to jail, but that's kind of not the option right now. 
Yeah, I kind of told him that you guys are kind of like at the ballpark. Like, you're about to hit the home run. I told him just be honest. And, you know, he he works with you guys. You guys are going to work with him. I told him lying, that, that doesn't work, you know. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, so, you're going to have to go to jail for some time since you did stab me in the neck with a... Ask him if it could be less. So just just to be clear, uh, you are at this time pleading uh, guilty yeah. to the attempted murder of a police officer. Yeah. What's the time looking like, though? Well, that's up to that's up to the uh, district attorney on whether or not they want to um they want to put you on a plea deal for just pleading guilty, or if they just want to send you away for the minimum there, twenty-five years. Is, is there any possible way for like rehab or anything like that? Um, not for, not huh. for attempted murder, no, Dave. You try to get, you try to get better yourself, though. But, but like, like, better myself into, like, a program or anything? You can if, if, go in. In jail, you can get released. What's well, up with all those papers slide around? And stuff like that, but that'd be on the jail side and not us. Yeah, you can go, you can go into a program while you're in prison, but. Is everything all right over there? Yeah, let me go figure That's out. That's a good question. Right Nah, Dave, it's alright. That's just a mayor. As as mm -hmm. that widow. Okay. I think that's just the building making sound. Yeah, I told Dave it's just a mayor. It's not a widow or nothing. I have a headache alcohol too much, so I don't know what the hell I'm taking. Well, that's good. You don't need to have alcohol, Dave. That's what got you in this mess. Yeah, you're probably right. That's why you're right. right. If, if, if I may, if I admit to something else, could I possibly get some? Or just knocked out. <laughs> I mean, that's that's by uh, the f first things first. Uh, King Wolf for attempted murder, right? The warrant was for attempted, attempted murder. murder of a police officer. Okay, so first things first, Dave. I just, I if you if you are going to admit and you are going to plead guilty for the attempted murder of a police officer, then I need you to say that first before we continue with anything. I do plead guilty for attempted murder of Lee King. Okay. You just, like, kill so her. from now, what we can do is we can sit down with your lawyer and we can talk if if you want to give us anything that could help us with any other pending investigations we have, or if you want to, if we, we can try and make up a plea deal. But you want the plea deal, day? Yes. All right. Well, that's what he wants to lead towards a plea deal. You. You gotta be honest to all these cops when they're talking to you and whatnot. You can't be coming back to Joe, Dave. That doesn't look good on your record. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I know. Wait, we're trying. I'm trying to work with you the best I can here, Dave. Right? You know, my prices go up every time you call me. You know. You you almost you almost killed my captain here. You know. So I, I personally, there's not much I want to give you, but the district attorney might have a different different beat. Uh, pays a heart. I just want to jump across the table and just strangle. <laughs> I know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hold though. <laughs> alright, give us one one uh one minute and we'll we'll come back in here, alright? Alrighty. Yeah, if Friday's running a hold, I would say, yeah, you are front cuffed. You could you could strangle him. He's lucky though, and he said he's sorry though. He didn't want this to happen, mm. but that's probably why he told you to call a lawyer, so because he probably knows I'm recording too. Mm -hmm. Perhaps tape recorder. I agree. Yep. They want <clears throat> they want evidence. Hey, as long as you plead guilty, you you agree to all the charges, and you tell them that you're going to listen, you might get on good behavior. I mean, your case that I'm dealing with, when I was dealing with Struts when he asked me to be a lawyer, whatever fucking Struts did, I wish I was recording that, I don't think I was, but whatever fucking Struts did, fucking, even me as the lawyer, I broke RP, and I was like, yeah, you kind of, at this point, I don't even know why you called a lawyer, you, you just dug yourself bigger in a hole, There's, I can't help you. <laughs> and then Struts told me when I was done, he was like, fuck you, man, you didn't save me. I was like, I couldn't, you kept them fucking... Like, you kept on agreeing to everything the cops were saying when they were asking me questions. And I was trying to sit there and, you know, not have them arrest you or whatnot type deal. But I was like, the way that you RP'd it, bro, you fucked it up. And I was like, 
There's that I could. Oh. Dang. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. L yours is going a little bit better. Cause they're, yeah. cause they're after uh, after Dave, Dave, uh, cause uh, he messaged me. He was like, "Do you want Dave to go away for life?" I was like, "No." I was like, "Obviously, he wants to come back out, regardless if he's sorry or not. He's gonna try and come back out and get you somehow." But I was like, "He's gonna go away for a while," but in my mind, he's gonna go away, and this is just gonna lead back into him going away, and then me bringing Dicky back out. Yep, and then eventually Mickey coming out. I told Stretcher there, I said, now that Critty's not doing the finish, the RP and whatnot, I was like, she could fucking suck a dick. I was like, and then Dick, you'll do his RP to get me to come back, and I'll come back. And then when I do come back, that's when I'll get more talks with uh, uh, Greasy, and then I'll get the works of my new bar put in, which I'll have to show you later. And the one I found, it's only $5, but, I mean, that's not expensive, but the inside looks more like how the bar would look like. Right. You need a lawyer? No, Griffin? What a mess of a Who needs a lawyer? Oh, are you the lawyer? Never mind. Griffin messaged me during the GTA, like the where you message him in the GTA. Oh, message, and it, pop, yeah. it popped up and said, Do you need a lawyer? Then he just messaged me back. He put, Never mind, lol. I guess you're the lawyer. Mm <laughs> hmm. All right, I, I was, I was going to tell him, like, I was going to tell him, no, I don't need a lawyer. I am a lawyer. <laughs> That's what I was going to tell him, but then he hurried up and responded back. I guess Griffin was going to be your lawyer. <laughs> I mean, either way, I mean, you're guilty, so no matter who you would have chose, they're not going to get the charges less dropped than what I could get of less dropped. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you did it. It's, a, it's our camera, I mean, it's... That, that even when I sat there agreed like you keep lying it's just gonna make worse the cops are like yep like, mm -hmm. that's why I tried telling struts when I was doing RP with him in the fucking lawyer scene I kept on telling him like just you're no I'm not guilty I did I'm like you but you did you they got they they know what you they they got you on camera but bro and he just went in there and he he tried and then a lot of the talking, it was Stretch talking over his fucking lawyer and then trying to, like, get himself out of the fucking, like, go to jail. And uh, that's when I broke character. I said, yeah, you did, you messed up. I'm your lawyer. I don't know why you even called me because I'm, there's nothing I could do. Keep on digging yourself into a digger, bigger hole, man. Mm -hmm. And then that's when he fucking, uh, it was Isaac, the one that was fucking uh, RPing uh, the guy that was asking the questions. And then... And then there was a zero timer for the priorities and whatnot. And I told Strutz, I'm like, yeah, just get mad. Like, you're, you, like this RP that your lawyer came down. You're not in cuffs or anything because Isaac uncuffed you. So I said, you're pissed. Your lawyer didn't help you out. You called the lawyer to get helped out to not get sent to jail. But yet the lawyer did nothing. And yet since the lawyer didn't do anything, you made it worse. But you're going to think the lawyer made it worse. So this attacked me. So Strutz literally attacked me, had me knocked out on the floor. Isaac got him in cuffs took care of me and now isaac was done with the scene he was like yeah struts kind of fucked up there and he should have let you kept talking and maybe said that he was guilty no this never would have happened i say yeah and then maybe he never would have knocked me out but he was like good rp and i was like oh yeah that was good i told him to knock me out by the way and he's like oh mm -hmm. he was like that was pretty cool going? what's going on it's the district all right guys it's the district attorney here it just I was gonna be that pet. I'm glad I didn't choose that pet. <laughs> I was gonna be that pet for the lawyer. Oh, I forgot oh, my notepad. He would have walked out like, wait, are you my brother? <laughs> <laughs> I was Alright, I just wanna get this one more time on, on tape. So Dave Forsyth, you do admit and you do plead guilty to the attempted murder of a law enforcement officer. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm going to let the district attorney take over. You said you wanted to take a plea deal, so I'm going to let him take over and see what he can do for you. All right. That's a pretty hefty fine there, son. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I'd have to talk to my uh, lawyer, but I'm not quite sure what I can do for you here. What type of deal are you looking for? Anything. There's anything less, less time of jail. Less time as possible, man. You're already to everything. 
Not me. Tamer, how long is that? Say again. Uh, Major, how long is Tampa murder? Uh, it's probably, I think it's 25 years with parole. 25. Oh, that's parole, not man. good, Dave. 25. Okay. Yeah, 25 years, ten thousand dollar fine. That's a law enforcement career. Well, that's about the charge of my first lawyer bill, ten thousand. All right. Well, what I can do for you, I'm gonna lay it bare bones for you. I can give you twenty with parole after twenty. What if what, what if pro, he had, what if he has good time after ten? Pro after ten. Pro after ten. So if he's at jail and he has good time, it's still gonna be twenty. Twenty minimum. What about parole after ten? Well, what about parole after Ted? I'm sorry. What about he gets parole after Ted? No. I mean, no. What about fifteen? Parole, parole after twenty. That's my maximum. Oh, so twenty years and then parole after twenty? Yes. That's a, that's the best I can do for you. When you okay. You how how about eighteen if he does good? No. It's just two two years down. Lower, I, that's breaking the law, son. I can't. I can't do hey, that. Hey, no Can I talk to you for a second? Oh yeah, it's not a problem. It's breaking the law, going down. I just went down by two. I've tried, Dave. I've tried to do what I can. Hey, you just put yourself in a big ditch, man. Oh, give us or anything he could give us. It's yeah, it's okay, man. Start crying. I don't know what he has. We could ask him a couple questions. Does he be sad because Billy's dead? That'd be the only thing I can say is to start crying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, this, this is your last call to do. Oh, <laughs> have something for us, rather. Um, I'm, so you know, we I'm sorry, sorry, man. Yeah. I know. Sorry, you missed your buddy. I know. Wait. Also, uh, Wait, what? Yeah, I think so. I think so, but I'm pretty sure that, that apparently he was, he was also, he also stabbed a, an officer. In the oh, I, got, <laughs> I went to jail for that already. <laughs> They were, also tell, they were also telling me about how you were aiding and abetting with me, so you were with me. And oh yeah, you knew I and you knew I had a warrant. Yeah, that's why I did a GME when I went back to my my new house. Uh, I put they didn't find me. Yeah, we, could, we can go talk to him. Oh, they're gonna go. To... Alrighty. So these officers do have a couple more questions they want to ask you, and this will either suffice if I give you that sentence, or if I decide to be a little more lenient with you. Oh, all right. If you got a snitch on me, yeah, I guess so, do it. So, uh, yeah. Mr. Mr. Forsyth, you said your buddy Rufus, he had also uh, uh, stabbed another law enforcement officer in the neck with a bottle. Is that correct? Yep. Well, correct, but I don't know if it was in the neck or whatever, but he had informed me that he stabbed another officer, and I, I believe it was Mr. Green. <laughs> okay. So, so, from what you're telling us is that you... Did you witness him doing this, or was this no. just word of mouth? I did not witness that, but he did inform me that he did do it. Okay. So you're saying that Rufus was also admitting to the attempted murder of a police officer? Yes, sir. So what <laughs> me and the DA had just talked about was uh, if you can give us some information on Rufus so that we can I live as dad catch him as well. Um, we, sure. we, yeah, the DA would be willing to drop your sentence a little bit. I live at That's something, you, something you want to uh, do? Hold on. Uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, he, he told me that he stabbed another officer and which officer it was. And like I told you guys earlier, uh, I don't know if you guys were trying to hunt him down or anything, but as you know, he, he was well aware of my warrant. And then wouldn't that be aiding and abetting too? Yeah. <laughs> so so you are, are you are saying that he was aware of uh, that your warrant was out and that... Yes, uh. Sir. He was aiding and abetting you. Yes, sir. He had <laughs> okay. full contact with me the whole time. Okay. So I just want to make this clear that if you do go forward with um, with informing us about your friend, that uh, <laughs> if if a court case <laughs> comes into action, right, you may be thing. asked to uh, be a witness in said court case. Okay. Um. One more thing. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Billy who uh, my best friend was, uh, there was one of his family members, I guess, in Billy's will, he done gave me everything that he owned, including the house. I just, okay. gave, I just gave the keys to Rufus, so he's either staying there or he's staying in Stab City. At a parent house. Okay. Um, so, so, yeah, just to let you know that you, you 
If there is a trial brought against uh, brought against Rufus, you may be asked to be a witness in that trial. Um, if Rufus is also wanting to take to trial, or sorry, if you are also wanting to take uh, your case to trial um, after the plea deal and everything, which I mean you can't, but if you decide this isn't what I want anymore, um, Rufus may be able to also act as an, a witness in your case. Is that understood? Understood. Okay. So. Do you, you you do you know where Rufus is staying at this moment? Stab City, either between Stab City, which would be his parents' house, or like I said, he's got the keys to Billy Willie's old house, which is here in Rockwood. Okay, and just to be just to be sure, that is the Rockwood across the street from that uh that motel rehab thing. Yes, sir. The want to ride okay. some. Can you get yeah. any other questions? Nope. Mr. Uh, District Attorney. Uh, Lugo, this is what I can do for you. With the cooperation and everything, uh, I can I'm give you 18 with parole. I have one more thing. Go ahead, Mr. Forsyth. It pains me to say this, but my address is 172 up in the mountains. And if you go up there, <laughs> you'll, find, you'll, find a bunch of, uh, you'll find a bunch of old cars and an old watering tower with no water in there. With illegal moonshine, <laughs> and I had and I have been selling illegal moonshine <laughs> county and across the state. No, to almost, to almost every resident <laughs> in the state of San Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for that, Mr. Forsyth. We'll go up to your property after your son away, and we'll go check it out. <laughs> yes, sir. And anything else, Mr. Sure. DA? Well, I didn't think that'd be. If I'm going down, I might as well give everything up. Yep. You try to help yourself out. That's all I got for now. You're honest. Tell him if he can make it less than 18. You understand your charges, Mr. Forsyth? Yes, I do. What is the penalty? Uh, Would it be 18 years with... Like, I just gave up my moonshine. <laughs> or parole, excuse me. So, 18 <laughs> and 18 and parole? Yes, sir. And you get my moonshine? Uh, after everything, sir. <laughs> yes, um, like I told you when we first started, I do not take these cases lightly. When you attempt to murder one of my Leo, I do not usually ever drop it down. <laughs> Just get angry at attempt. That was an attempt. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> with the 18, or at least be able to go 15 for parole? That'll have to come at your 10-year court date. Understood. So if you do good, you, you might see the judge and give him a different look in your eyes, you know. But right now he's seeing a criminal that stabbed a cop for no reason. I would say it was for no reason. Well, I mean, if you're arguing this with them, yeah, it's for no reason. You're not going to win that case, buddy. I'm trying to be on your side. That kind of made well, everything like mutual. My time is up here. Well, you have a lovely sentence, I guess. And lawyer, have a nice day. <laughs> have a good one, Mr. District okay, Attorney. All right. Um. Yeah, that's it. Mr. Forsyth, I thank you for the information that you've given us. Mr. Steve, I thank you for being here. Yep, I appreciate everything I could do for this man. I mean, I helped him out a little, not by much, but hey, at least him admitting to everything he did, not lying like he wanted to do, helped him out. Yep. All right, uh, Mr. Uh, Captain King, if you want to share about Mr. Steve, I'll get Mr. Forsyth all set up with a uh, booking. Okay. Oh, oh fuck you! Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> whoa, 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 stay right there. Whoa, come hit me, come hit me, start come hit me. Stop moving, Mr. Oh, Forsyth. Hit, hit you me. didn't Stop. do shit. Oh, oh. Put your hands up. Oh, why did he have to hit me, man?
Ah, uh, let me get up. Ah, that that bag can swing. Right? Oh, you're not the one I wanted to cuff. I oh, know it's all right. Ah, oh, man, that guy can swing. Are you all right, Mister Mister Steve? Yeah, I, I'm all right, man. That guy could punch. Okay. Hey, at least you got him knocked oh, he out. Me up. He just knocked me out. <laughs> at least you knocked You're him right? out. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> you should go over there and spit on him if you get back up. God damn it, I thought we were cool. Dave, what the hell? <laughs> I think you just made the sentence worse now. Yeah, I just made it worse. The plea deal's gone. <laughs> oh, you just want the plea deal, man. Why not even come down here then? Now I'm booking you twenty thousand instead of ten. Well, I got at twenty five for you knocking me out, or I'm taking you to court. You got a month to pay it up, or I'm gonna see you in court. Ah, you just spit on me. I'll fuck you. Ah, <laughs> Jesus, man, why'd you have to spit that, on me? Get his ass in the cell. Ugh. Right get, this way. Yeah, get me out of here, man. This guy's crazy. Oh, I thought he. I thought he. I thought he said he was forgave me. I thought he forgave you too. I should have never came down here. He just spit on me, man. I also want to press you. charges on him for that. <laughs> I messaged him. I was like, "Let me come over there and tackle you." God and then, I, as soon as he, I knew he was gonna unlock it. Well, hopefully they keep that guy locked up for a long time. You don't got to deal with him again. He yeah, seems like a, a bad character, you know. What'd you say? I said hopefully they lock him up for a good time and keep him locked up. He doesn't seem like a good fellow to be out here in the streets, you know. No, he's not, man. He's mad at me because his friend tried to kill me and I had to shoot him in the fence. Yeah, I, I saw it on the news. It was all that Billy guy. He did it. He he turned around. He had the gun. and I'm seeing mixed reports, though. People are trying to be on Billy's side, but I'm a lawyer, so I'm on your guys' side because I know the facts, and Billy did it, and he should have never did it. It was a TV, man. I don't know why he pulled in a gun over a TV. It wasn't even going to be that hard of a charge. Yeah, and, the, and you want to know something funny? I used to be Billy's lawyer. Oh, jeez. So that never... I would have told him the case is closed. I'm not taking it because, well, obviously he would have lost. Yeah, exactly. I mean, well... Have a nice night, man. I gotta go deal with All right. this now. Yeah, go deal with that guy. Hopefully you don't get spit on or attacked again. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, Steve the lawyer is out of here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. If you hear a train in the background, don't mind that. I got my window open. I live close by a train. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, um two parts you probably saw the first part and if you didn't it's on my channel i'll put the link to that video down in the description below because it's kind of a two-part video but not really because the second part i'm a different character i'm not rufus but the second part goes to when you see him at the end get arrested in the first part and that's why i'm his lawyer here in the second part so rufus and you know Buck did the Rufus Buck and you know Uncle Dave Forsyth, you know they did their, they did what they got to do you know with the first part until the twist of fate happened and then they took Uncle Dave to jail. But then in part two, we'll technically the second part where you see he'll get arrested. I'll be his lawyer so you get to see what happened inside. And I, you know we try, we try to do. I mean I try to get it, but at the end you know just like the first time when I was a lawyer to another friend of ours, other the struts. I mean it was all good until he hit me at the end and he ruined it. But I mean struts did the same day basically, but I mean struts ruined it even worse for him because he was just digging his hole a little deeper with Dave. He he kind of got us it. It's, I got him really good. And then you know he just you know. He rode with it. <laughs> but I'm not even better at Willie at this part, but you know. <laughs> I hope you all uh, like to watch it and let the first part. And uh, you, you see this little throwaway little lawyer come in and try to save him. But you know, he can't be saved because that Dave, and Dave gonna be Dave and he can do what he wants. But until that time, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And you might see a lawyer try to target thrown into the server and then far away because we might need it with the snails like what happened in the video. So until that time, as I said, I'll see y'all later.